if you look at the picture briefly, it seems like the system is stationary. And if you compare it with energy transport, the stationary system is supposed to be no convection. <coughs> However, in this system, we do have convection. Why? Because we have VC star. This represents convection term. Okay? In this system, we have convection upward. The convection in mass transport is the result from the net movement of the molecules. If you consider the whole group of molecules in the system, and as a net result, it moves in one particular direction, there is convection in that direction. So in this case, the net movement goes up. So we have convection going up. Okay? However, for the species B, diffusion goes down. So diffusion goes against the movement of the whole species. That's why it seems like species B is constant. That means species B is fixed. Just imagine like this. Do you know escalator? You know escalator? Yeah. yeah. Think that escalator is representing convection. It's the movement. If you walk down the escalator, that's the escalator is moving up. And you look from the stationary point, you see that person stays still, right? But does, does he move? Does he try to move? Yes, they, he's walking. That means he's walking means you have diffusion. But convection terms go against them. So that's why from stationary point, it seems like that person stays still. But does he really stay still? No. Okay? Understand? But in detail, can you imagine when you have like a concert, when at the end of a concert, everybody in the hall try to rush through the the door going out at the same time. If someone forgets something in the hall and wants to go back, you want to go walk down against the crown. Okay? So the crown would go one way and you want to go against them. So the crown would push you while you try to walk back. At the end, you seem to stay still. The movement of the whole crowd is convection. Of course, convection is caused by the movement. It's caused by diffusion. As long as every person is trying to walk around, that would cause convection of the flow. Okay? But as long as you go along the direction of the convection, you go faster than average person. If you go against the, the crowd, if you go against the convection, then you go slower than you should be. Do you understand? All right. So if there is no question, I think that's it for today. I will give you another example next time.